as we know, Tom Brady uh, had a midsummer training camp sabbatical that the Buccaneers said was planned. And and it's weird because quarterbacks don't usually leave in the middle of training camp for uh, a pre-scheduled personal reason. And that would mean somebody's maybe is Brady hurt? Does he need surgery? The answer was no. Um, and then what? how could it be? Uh, and then everyone is everyone is family okay? Well, that would be the very definition of of not planned. And then then again, it's also you know unprecedented. But so is Tom Brady as a player. Uh, so is Tom Brady as a face of a franchise in Tampa. And um, so there was a lot of unprecedentedness about all this. But Tom Brady, every single step that he takes on an NFL field and every snap that he takes and every throw he's about to take. Again, that's just extending the unprecedentedness that we may not see matched again in anybody's lifetime. So it was um, something to say the least. And the question is what and rumors flying everywhere. And Brady returned a week ago today and then played in the final preseason game, quick cup of coffee. Got some snaps, broke a sweat, and got out of the game in Indianapolis before anything stupid could happen. And unfortunately, more stupidness happened with injuries up front. That's a very banged-up offensive line now that's protecting a 45-year-old man. But in between his return and in between playing in that game, Brady did not speak to the media. He did not speak to the media. But when you're a starting quarterback in the National Football League, you speak to the media after the game. So... It had not been asked of Brady the very, I guess, basic question that we ask of friends and people who we're familiar with after something out of the ordinary happens, the genuine question of what was up with that? (laughs) I don't think that's the way it was posed of Tom, but that's the general sense that everyone was wondering, what's up with this? Like, what, what happened? And it was clearly something very personal for for Brady, who sounded maybe the most relatable he's ever been. Think about it. This guy lives a life that everybody would want to live. Everybody would want to live. Considered the greatest ever, it's something that you do professionally. The, your personal life looks as beautiful uh, inside of a frame as it does on an Instagram page, as it does what would think from the outside looking in. And generationally wealthy, beaten father time. I mean, that's exactly what we want to do. We want to live happy and healthy. And um, obviously wealthy would be a good cherry on top. It's what it appears to him be living. But this soundbite just jumped off my phone at me when I saw it hit my Twitter feed after the preseason game over the weekend. Brady was asked essentially what was up with his mid-summer sabbatical, and here was his answer. It's all personal. You know, everyone's got different situations they're dealing with, so we all have really unique challenges to our life, and... Uh, you know, we're, I'm 45 years old, man. There's a lot of going on. So, you know, you just got to try to figure out life the best you can. And, um, you know, it's a, uh, continuous process. So. I mean, what is more, I don't think he's ever said anything more relatable where anybody who is a parent Anybody who is in a marriage, anybody who's working, and I understand we, we all don't have his bank account. I don't think anybody does, maybe. If you're in the sound of my voice and you got his bank account, to salute. Um, that may be the most relatable Tom Brady's ever been. Yeah, you know, Rich, I saw that uh, Saturday night. A few things really stuck out to me. First off, I thought when I saw the quote just in print, yeah, I thought it was kind of like, ha-ha, I got a lot of stuff going on, and everyone in the room laughed, and then we moved on. 
That was not the case. I like, saw your tweet. You said he sounds like every tired dad, and I thought that was spot on. Yeah, like, he, and he looks like a tired dad. This guy, that was the first thing I kind of noticed is just how tired and exhausted he looks. Well, we need to be careful because, again, there's so much to speculate right, about. We, we, we really have but, no idea. But, right. You don't know if it's his kid. You don't know what's going on right. at all. But what it is for anybody who has a lot going on in their life personally yeah clearly something's going on that that we shouldn't pry right just let the guy figure it out himself that yeah he's got a supermodel wife i mean that you hear about it he's got you know he'll he'll probably when it's all said and done he might be up there with lebron about a billion dollars in 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 net worth yeah, he's right got now. a bunch of businesses right. we know he's got the fox thing right. coming. Yeah, a movie and, like, and all of that yeah. i can only imagine though you can only imagine, though, and, and and you have to tread lightly because there are so many people who are watching us and listening to us right now who have a lot going on in their lives who don't have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and multiple gajillions of dollars to fall back on who might be like Crimea River, but I can't imagine doing this job with three kids if this job took me out of the house at 5 in the morning and put me back in the house at 8 o'clock at night. And also on the road, um, what, 15 weeks a year, maybe? If you're, if you're lucky, it's maybe like 17 weeks a year. Right. And he chose to come back. But that's why I hear that, and I'm thinking to myself, in the ways that he's always defeated Father Time, this is the way for Father Time to just remind everybody what time it is that there's a lot in his life that's pulling on him. And um, I saw that, I heard that, and I'm like, you know what? Just let the guy figure out whatever's going on in peace, and then the issue would be, does he take it on the football field? And of course he doesn't. He looked terrific. He looked like he was a jackrabbit. Didn't look like Father Time had tapped him on the shoulder at all. And I know it's preseason, blah, blah, blah. But you could see it. And then after the game... (laughs) This exchange jumped out at me, too, because I I think he's kind of I think he heard a lot of the speculation about how can he leave in the middle of his training camp season? He's still a quarterback in the NFL. Boy, those reps are going to be something that he's going to need when the season hits. I, I, I think he definitely was hearing a lot of the speculation. For sure. I mean, it makes sense. Listen to this exchange. I don't know if you heard this one over the weekend. Jason Light had said he thought you would come back from this break even more focused. Do you, do you think that's the case? I feel good. I feel good. What, what did that mean for I you? I played have... football for a long time, so I'm pretty good at it. It'll take long for me to remember how to play it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> doesn't take long for me to remember how to play it. It's just like, Understand can I here. just like... Y'all were like wondering why I retired and then I am came back and everybody's like happy about it and just take a look at the Buccaneers schedule and see what it would have been like if Kyle Trask was starting every game. I know this is like what, what were they really thinking but it's just like okay now, I'm, now I came back and I just needed a break. I needed a break. Everybody wants to know why I need a break. Well, I'm a 45-year-old guy. There's a lot of S going on. And I'm here playing football. I'm pretty good at it. I'm, it it's, it, it also, was really just a also, fascinating exchange in a press conference because that doesn't sound like a guy who's going to take a banana costume off in front of my kids on a on a on a whatever night the mass singers on on Fox, okay? No, I okay. think we can put that. To we could bed. put that to yeah, bed. You could put that to bed. That ain't happening. And also, not a lot of smiling. Not, a, I mean, yeah. Could you imagine anybody? Did anybody? I, again, I didn't hear the whole press on. conference. And Rick Stroud of the Tampa Bay Times is going to join us because when he shows up and he's basically laying bare. Hey, everybody, I needed this. Yeah. No one's going to ask him, well, did Dana White set you up in the in, in Vegas? <laughs> right? No one's going to come come with that. 
Yeah, that nobody asked. That. I don't know. Uh, Did somebody do that? Because I didn't see anything. I didn't see. I mean, that quote obviously would have made the rounds. I didn't see it. Yeah, I wasn't on the mass Singer. I know I had fun with it in, uh, uh, you know, in a post for my uh, my underwear, by the way. He did. That's literally what he did. No, no, he for any of us thinking did. that I'm using Apparently a metaphor. It's really comfortable. <laughs> so, mm. yeah, man. Brady's back. He looks good. Can't wait to see him against the Cowboys. <laughs> In 13 days, baby. Jeez. Preseason's over.